Kabale International Airport that is under construction in Kabale sub-county in Hoima district was expected to be officially handed over to the Ugandan government by the contractor SBC Uganda Limited by February 2023, but this has been postponed to December 2023 due to unavoidable circumstances. The State Minister for Transport, Fred Biamukama, rushed to the project site to seek a solution after the main contractor SBC Uganda Limited suspended work protesting failure by the government to attain to contractual variation claims. In February 2023, the government of Uganda contracted Shikun and Binui, an Israeli company firm which patterned with SBC Uganda Limited to construct the airport at a cost of US dollars 309 million. But the company has suspended work demanding for more funds, citing variation of prices. However, Minister Biamukama now claims that some unscrupulous people in government, who he refers to as the mafias, are conniving with the contractor, which could make the government lose over one. 106 billion shillings. People want to connive with the contractor for the government of Uganda to lose over 28 million euros, which is about 126 billion. That's out of money. In the name of variation of prices. We agree prices increased during COVID and because of the Ukraine war. But it did not increase as the exaggerating. We want them to tell us. If a, a sack of cement was sat, how much did they buy a sack of cement? It was increased to how much? The minister explained that the government decided to adjust and abandon some of the earlier planned scope of work, including the Contra Tower, staff houses and buses, among others. Currently, the project is at 90% to completion. The works are up to 90% or almost 90 the contract laid down the tools because we want the ones, what we call the of prices. The money which we didn't budget for, we told him yes, we can accept this money when we negotiate. And we shall pay later, he refused that I want from that money of the loan. This is a loan, but later government of Uganda will pay. The minister claimed that some government officials are unjustifiably pushing the Ministry of Finance to sign for a loan of 40 million euros over to complete the airport works. The first thing is, go to the Ministry of Finance, there is a loan of 40, of 40 million euros they are waiting for you. Me, the, the employer, <laughs> and you the contractor, who is supposed to show one another where to borrow money from. You can see Uganda, that level of mafiaism, if it doesn't end. Someone who goes to finance has identified where the loan is. And they are forcing a minister of works to go and borrow that money. However, the Honorable Yamukama said that the works ministry will engage the contractor in a bid to reach to our consensus. But if that fails, the contract will be terminated. Amos Morisa, the spokesperson for SBC Uganda Limited, disassociated the company from the mafia claims. I disassociated the company with the, 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 that element of mafias. If they are there, they are there on their own, but they are not influencing any decision in SBC. He explained that the contractor felt that the work should be suspended to give room for a resolution of the disagreements. And there has been some contractual variations. What we have in the contract is not what we see on the ground. So this has led maybe to a need to first sit down and resolve this impasse. This is what had caused the, the, the project to hold for a while, but this is going to be solved in a short period of time. Minister Yamukama later called for a meeting with over 100 SBC workers. Also in attendance were the Hoima Resident District Commissioner Rogers Mbavazi, Hoima District Chairperson Kadidi Chirunji and other local leaders. Honorable Yamukama pledged that the disagreements would be resolved soon. But they are corrupt.